Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm probably gonna have to do like super turbo on the colors here somewhere around these days because I'm, I'm kind of filling up on stuff to show off here, and yeah, yeah, maybe I should do like alternating levels of colors and stuff like that. Anyway, secret of the seven variety. Oh, this is the level that if you want to see all the paths, you've got to play like three different times. So, let's just start with all the left paths first, and Boxy is up first. Yeah, gimme, 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 gimme deliciousness, yes. And... Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> You're giving me presents like Deli Bird all day and all night. No, I thought you were gonna shoot. I should not anticipate. I should only react to what I see. <laughs> Alright, so one more hit ought to do. And then I will be able to get... Why did I even do that? So now I'll be able to get... A delicious magic power. And head over to the next area. So needless to say, with level design like this, it can uh, take kind of a while to actually see all the paths. So this is probably going to take me probably half the parts alone just to show you all the different paths. <laughs> ah! But we'll see how things go. And there's another level coming up like that too, so... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll just kind of spam my hat at you and, you know, just call it a day. Because why not? You know, I probably... This is probably better than the fighter power, probably. Because they're mainly battling bosses, but just for the sake of switching, I'll switch. <laughs> See, this is not... <laughs> this is, it's like everything is its own path dealio of sorts, and yeah. <laughs> That's why you gotta play the level multiple times to actually see all the paths. I suppose if you know exactly what the treasure chest paths are, whoops, well, it's it's not as tedious because you can just go for those, but, you know, I, I kind of want to show all the paths anyway, just, just like I have been doing, so yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't go through that, okay. That is solid! Uh, okay, now we finally got a, a path sort of kind of coming back together. There's a treasure chest over there, hanging out, having a good time. Um, you know what I should do? Because I'm gonna come through here again. I am going to finally show what happens when <laughs> when they grab the chest and they go inside the house and then close the door. Because I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna come back through here again and replay the level anyway, so it's like, okay, I'll just show you what it looks like when they board up their home. Any day now. There we go. Now it's impossible to get in there. That's that's why I always rush over to their houses when they grab something and go in because yeah, uh, I should probably grab the meat because I don't think I'm gonna die to these bosses. <laughs> so that was like three minutes of nothingness. <laughs> All right, middle path this time, and we get. Oh yeah. Um. How did this go? Because if you, if you knock the, the... I mean, it doesn't matter if you miss it. But the thing about it is, is if you hit the bottom one, you won't be able to like, get to the one up in time, and yeah. You could hit all three switches at once, and then... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say hit all three switches at once and run to the right side really quick before it falls, but not now! Oh! Oh! Maybe I could have gotten that, actually, if I was a little bit more efficient. Maybe, maybe. All right, continuing on the middle path. Now watch this. If you want to get that one up, you gotta do some fancy sh ah, oh! <laughs> fancy schmancy stuff, and I didn't quite do it. Yeah, I, I I anticipated it correctly by going up and over here, but I was too slow dropping down in here. So yeah, that's two one ups that were at a loss. <laughs> uh, oh no. It was this one, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, this is, it's not its not the best level in the world, let me just put it that way. <laughs> yeah, at least I remembered that one. Probably because it was important to remember that one as opposed to the other ones, which were very one-up based. And this one will lead to the other treasure chests. And then there's still the other two pathways to take care of, so... Whoop! 
Let's go ahead and spam ourselves to victory. <laughs> so this will be all the treasure chests, but I didn't show the remaining path, so I might as well. You know what? <laughs> wow, that's the slowest cannon yet, I think. And a victory. Actually, you know what I should do? Is already change Kirby colors. <laughs> like, in between these rooms. Because they're building up. Yeah, maybe I'll just do something real. Heck? What did I. Okay. <laughs> so, that was weird. <clears throat> uh, anyway! <laughs> change colors to. The cherry! Let's go back to, back to the special! <laughs> now. The right path, and maybe it was just the left path. It was all bosses. And I was thinking of the other area that was boss-related. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, the, the idea is that you hit this with a Hadouken, and you can go through the door to get the one up. <laughs> well, that was quick. And yeah, this path. Uh, I'm gonna go like this and slide all the way through rather than trying to attack it, because the slides getting through blocks are pretty swift. Because you're destroying while on the move, basically. And Monkers! Oh yeah, there's, uh, there's boss, more bosses here, I guess. Maybe it was the level I was thinking of. <laughs> I can hey Duke in all day and all night. I, I, was, I was gonna say, I can charge him all day and all night by going right through his body. I was expecting him to do a charge at me. That's why I did that. Yeah, and whoops. Oh. Well, as I said... Do, react to what you see, not to what you think is coming. <laughs> You're gonna do a jumpy jump because I'm up, up above you. I know, I know. Uh huh. Yeah, this is the firepower is probably not that good with bonkers, though, is it? <laughs> You're gonna just be doing like that, just using his own attacks against him. And I think that's it. Yeah, I guess it leads off to this split path here. And this leads off to the last treasure chest. So, alright! <laughs> As I said, that was like half the part alone there. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't win. Well, I was just gonna mash the button to get the maximum tomato. Well, well hopefully there's something to recover my health a little bit. Okay, there we go. <laughs> That's semi-useful. We probably will not help against the boss. It was actually quite a tricky boss. Dun 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 Should probably grab all the stuff. Oh, there's no heals? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I should probably use Beam. Unless he doesn't let me. Nah, I'm pretty sure he does let me. It's Meta Knights! He attacks just like the Meta Knights of the... <laughs> of the past, basically, for the most part here. So you can pretty much use your same preferred Meta Knight strategies. Only... Oops. Only my Meta Knight strategies are way too reckless for my own good, and, <laughs> so, and I, I don't have that much health to deal with here. He does have a couple new attacks, like that, whoops, like that electrical attack there, and that fire bolt dealio there, but yeah, I just started way, way too low on health, so. If you wanted to have a classic Meta Knight battle, you could sort it up, if you would like to. And let's go! Woo. Oh yeah, that's right. You always do that at the start. Anyway, yeah, you gotta to dodge that spark move there. Just gotta kind of, kind of notice that he's charging up his swordy sword. Whoops! Dang it! <laughs> I'm just would be way tremendously, horrifically reckless. Oh, what was that high-pitched whine there? <laughs> no, that. That's the, I don't think that's like that in the actual DS. That, yeah. Hmm. It might be an emulation issue. By the way, when he does that, just go to the corner. It'll always stop just before the wall, no matter how far away he is from the wall. So, if he's close enough that you can actually get some shots at him uh, through that attack, you can get a you can get a bunch of free shots uh, like that. So, yeah. Anyway, aha, baited ya. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's gonna do it! Ooh. Yeah, like, do that. If you could shoot at him at a distance with that, you can get a pretty good amount of uh, damage in there while he just sits around the corner doing nothing. And, uh, 
then I win. But only barely. <laughs> that was a terrible fight on my part. <laughs> Alright. That treasure chest is a mine. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Another boss battle badge is mine. Wait a second, a boss battle badge? I thought there was gonna be something like that strawberry shortcake in that chest. Me tonight has been defeated! Woo! Happy days! The chest holding the strawberry shortcake is at hand! Oh yeah! Let's open that and have our desserts. Kirby approaches the chest to rescue his delicious snack that has not been refrigerated and has probably gone bad after all this time. But it's the Squeaks! They follow Kirby! Snatch that chest! What off! Into the distance! And now they're stealing the treasure chest! Oh, not again! And, without hesitation, the Squeaks open the chest. Oh. Well, maybe they're not stealing it, they're just seeing the rewards! Yes! Kirby's cake, it's gonna be eaten! No! 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 Oh! But there's no cake in the chest, only a dark, eerie cloud of smoke! What the poop and poop of the poop is this? The smoke envelops the squeaks and disappears into space! Uh oh. Well, that's not good. How awful! At this rate, the strawberry shortcake will be lost forever! Uh, we haven't even seen the strawberry shortcake, we thought it was in there! Kirby must find the cake and solve the mystery of the creepy smoke. But more importantly, the cake. We must get uh, the cake. And so, he departs for the stars in World 8. And I'll be doing 8 1. <laughs> Yay! It has been unlocked. If you couldn't tell on the map screen, yeah, there was just another space for another world there. It looked kind of obvious, but I didn't want to say anything. Let's -a go. Woo! Gamble a galaxy. This is this is more like seven extra where you're gambling which door you wanna take and which switch you wanna hit. Anyway, eight dash one let's go, as I said. Woo! Through the ship out into space. I I probably should have grabbed that. It's too late now, I can't respawn it. <laughs> Ooh, rare parasol waddle do. Bye bye. <laughs> I said bye bye. <laughs> oh jeez, the umbrella came for me. Well, parasol is more specifically is what it's called. Wait, what, what am I hitting? You can't destroy those with the power of any powers, and surprisingly, you can't destroy those blocks by baiting any sort of bombs or any sort. Yeah, any sort of attacks like that. It's kind of kind of weird like that. And oh, maybe I shouldn't have hit that because I'll be a little trickier getting in the door or not. Uh, I'm, I, you know, I'm still at, I was gonna say, I'm still at low health, so I was like, hmm, maybe I should take a hit, or should I try and keep going? Well, I don't have a choice in the matter now. <laughs> Spark will be handy with all this electricity around here. Well, I mean, with all this metal around here for the electricity to flow through and whatnot. Hello down there. Everyone having a good time? Being zapped by me? Probably not, but it, it's what's happening. I don't think you have much of a choice in the map. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could try jumping up here. I wonder if there's anything look down lower. Oh yeah, you can cut those uh, chains on here too, but they don't make any platforms fall, interestingly enough. The chains just seem to be there for like, electricity transference, I guess you could say, more than anything. But anyway, let's go on ahead. I, guess I'll, I don't think there's anything down here, it's just a choose your sword power, basically. Uh, whoever you want to get the sword from. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to do that door with that, but I don't think that's going to be that big of an issue. But I thought there was something... No, I, I don't know, maybe I was thinking of some other level. 
Okay, <laughs> maybe it's some other Kirby game or something, I don't know. Alright. Duck! No, I actually don't have to duck there. Over here, though! Not gonna go in the barrel. Jump out, you'll just press the jump button, exit, exit the barrel. Yes, yes. And in you go! Okay, we're safe. Eh. See, you can't escape unless you hit the jump button. But anyway, <laughs> hit that when you're moving the opposite direction and hide! Hide, or, you know, go, go up the other way. <laughs> That'll do just fine as well. And man, that's a long level! We haven't come across any treasure chests so far. <laughs> oh. But we have a kind of a nightmare going on here. I do believe the bottom left and bottom right leads you to the end, but the bottom left leads you to a treasure chest as well. So I want to go straight down, I think, first. And... Well, oh, I didn't know you could hit me through that, because I thought... Oh, it's two blocks, not three blocks like the other one. Anyway, I'm going to take a peek see down to here. Okay. <laughs> it's just like, take a peek see down there, but nah. Okay, so that was not... At least I wanted to go to yeah, so I'm gonna go in that one. Well, okay, I, it wasn't a place I needed to go to at all. Um, 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 um Yes, I will exit that and get all sorts of stuff that could prove to be useful. I s wait, 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 what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? There's a barrel down here! Oh, that's... <laughs> Okay, upper left now. Oh, okay, upper. That's that'll be fine. I don't got the cursor up there. Oh, I need that. Uh, let's go like this. Let's swap to the beam. Drop it, and then fire it up. I think what I need to do is melt blocks above this, if I recall correctly. Yeah, it's like that. They're they're metal blocks basically, and you can't tell if they're metal unless you melt that. But I just just happen to remember that. And... Upper left! <laughs> uh, oh, that's... Uh, oh wait, no, this is fine. I was gonna say, this, this might be trouble. Okay, I don't, I don't really need that, do I? Probably not. It's just invulnerability. I can always get through things by tanking hits if need be. <laughs> anyway. Uh, upper right. And Mr. Frosty's in the house! And now you've got some Gordos up above, which will make it trickier to jump over him when you need to. So that's kind of kind of the gimmick of this version of it. But just don't do like a full jump over him, and you can jump straight over him directly. Just like, you don't want to do any floaty jumpy jumpies, you just want to do a jumpy jumpy. Because you see, your jump doesn't quite reach the Gordo. See that? See that? Uh-huh. That's the trick. <laughs> Uh, ice it up. Open this up. Oh, I, I, I'm generally unimpressed by those things. Upper right, was it next? Oh, oh no, I oh, shoot, it was to the right that was next. Whoopsie doodle. Well, it looks like we're battling Mr. Frosty again. <laughs> you're, you're in a very bad position here. I know that because... <laughs> I noticed your attack angle there. And you're not moving all that much, so okay. Ah, pay more attention, Pika Gam. And this time, go straight right. There we go. Uh, obviously, want to switch. I think these are like trap ropes. Eh, well, not, not that one. Yeah, it's like some of these have traps, other th others have better prizes and stuff. <laughs> nice try, there, bile sparks. Uh, actually, I should probably. Take that for the future, and yeah, it, cutters, you know, you cut, you cut. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean that, oh, I wanted to go bottom left. Uh, bottom left. Now, um, wait, hold on, can I, aren't those gonna fire, I thought? Maybe these don't fire in particular. Uh, uh, hmm, okay, now they do. <laughs> nope, nope, not, not yet, not yet. Okay, so, as I was saying about the pathways in that eight-way eight room there, um, this pathway, I do believe, leads to the same path that the bottom right one leads to, except after this section. So, if you don't take the bottom left, you end up skipping something you don't want to skip, basically. Anyway, get ready to ride! Fantastic peek again. <laughs> yeah, that's how you get that treasure chest over there. Remember to hop those ones, well, over one square gaps. And just let yourself fly off this particular edge at the end here. And I should probably... 
get rid of one of these. There's still one more treasure chest to deal with here. I guess I'll animal it up. And I'll skip that. I'm at full health. And let's go! The race is on! Well, kind of. It's, it's not that much of a race. You just kind of... <laughs> just kind of catch up with them and then give them a whack. <laughs> and then you win. Oh, no! It fell off the edge. <laughs> let's try it again. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, wait, what? It doesn't come back? Oh, man. Oh, man. It looks like I'm replaying this level twice. <laughs> Not intentionally, but that's how things roll. Oops, well, I didn't really have any health to gain anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> Well, I guess I can show you that uh, bottom right, bottom right path. Then I, I suppose, I suppose we made it. Oh, and I took the wrong door. <laughs> it never fails. It never fails. Okay, bottom right, and this leads. Well, this is definitely new. Uh, but it's, it's not going to lead me to a treasure chest and all that. Oh, I keep forgetting to mention this guy's name. Naughty! The sleepy critter! Ah, uh, ah! Uh, I could use that since I was recklessly speedrunning this level. Okay, so this is probably what takes me over to the... Yeah, so this is where it leads together. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna go spit this out. <laughs> Give me a little refill and try and get that treasure chest. Let's look. actually, you know, I, I could just let him take it over to his hideout and then battle him in there if I really wanted to, like be be extra safe, I suppose. So maybe that's what I'll do is I'll just follow him and have a good time. Just there you go, there you go. You happy? You happy? Yeah. Until I take it from you. <laughs> All right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sneak my way through there. And kind of use my noodle like I said I was I should be doing in these sorts of places. That was my own fault. I was getting a little too speedy on my own ooh, on my own parts. Yeah, I don't have any other treasure chest to kind of kind of juggle around here this time because I, I just kind of speed ran everything and we are good. <laughs> yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey big boy. Big boy. Yeah, you got the big bombs. But, more importantly, you guys have the big chests. And there we go. <laughs> oh, maybe I should actually show this area with uh, regular critters in it, too. Just a, like a quick run-through of everything, showing you what kind of the, the, the squeaks are placed and whatnot. Not really that much to see or anything like that, but that's typically missed. Because you're going to be going for the treasure chest and then for the exit in a lot of pl in a lot of cases. So yeah, just like, eh, eh, might as well just go through these platforms really quick. There's not much vertical space here, really. Yeah. So just go around one path and you'll see it all. I missed. I tried going for the pudding. I failed. I failed. <laughs> Alright, now that level is 100%ed. But at what cost? At what cost? Well, not much, really. <laughs> so with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.